Good morning, everybody. My name is Daniel Pello, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. I to start out this morning with a scripture reading from Deuteronomy chapter 9, verses 13 through 21. Furthermore, the Lord said to me, I have seen that this people is indeed a stubborn people. Let me alone that I may destroy them and blot out their name from under heaven. And I will make of you a nation mightier and more numerous than they. So I turned and went down from the mountain, while the mountain was ablaze. The two tablets of the covenant were in my two hands. Then I saw that you had indeed sinned against the Lord your God, by casting for yourselves an image of a calf. You had been quick to turn from the way that the Lord had commanded you. So I took hold of the two tablets and flung them from my two hands, smashing them before your eyes. Then I lay prostrate before the Lord as before forty days and forty nights. I neither ate bread nor drank water because of all the sin you had committed, provoking the Lord by doing what was evil in his sight. For I was afraid that the anger that the Lord bore against you was so fierce that he would destroy you. But the Lord listened to me that time also. The Lord was so angry with Aaron that he was ready to destroy him. But I interceded also on behalf of Aaron at that same time. Then I took the sinful thing you had made, the calf, and burned it with fire and crushed it, grinding it thoroughly until it was reduced to dust. And I threw the dust of it into the stream that runs down the mountain. Please join me now in a time together in prayer this morning. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your presence that we will be guided by in our lives today. Help us to be selfless, courageous, and wise while we walk your earth. As we walk it, we appreciate and are so very grateful for both rain and shine, for both remind us of your wonderful creations, Lord. Help us to see the blessings and both small and big experiences that we have throughout today. Teach us to stand strong when under pressure today and to choose only your way. Help us to embrace anything which is challenging that comes our way as an opportunity to see you at work and opportunity to point others to you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. I hope to see you right here tomorrow at 8 a.m. I hope you all have a great day today.